In this video, we're going to take a look at math that most people never see. We're going to go through various subjects so you can see what they're about. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a book that you can use that basically gives you an overview of the different areas of mathematics. Many of these are things that you wouldn't see unless you were a mathematics graduate student or even more specifically, a mathematics graduate student at a certain school. Some of these topics aren't even taught at some schools. This is Applied Combinatorics by Fred S. Roberts. So combinatorics is the theory of counting. So if you are a computer science major, you might take a course in discrete mathematics and you might see some counting theory. But this is an entire book on the theory of counting. In theory, you could take an actual college level course or two on this subject and learn about counting. One of my favorite subjects and one that a lot of people see if they're math majors is abstract algebra. This is something that anyone who goes to college and studies engineering or computer science or physics, they're not going to see. So this is something that's really, really exclusive to math majors. This book is a legendary book. It's called Abstract Algebra and it's by Dummett and Foote. And this is a graduate level book on abstract algebra. It's really awesome. Abstract algebra is concerned with something called algebraic structures. For example, a group is an example of an algebraic structure. It's basically a set with a binary operation that's associative and it has an identity and every element has an inverse. If that was too much to understand, try to think about addition and the set of real numbers that would form a group. This is topology of manifolds. This is super advanced and something most people would never see. Let's take a look at this super old book. This is from the Proceedings of the University of Georgia, Topology of Manifolds Institute, 1969. That was a long time ago. And so you can see here, basically, it's like a collection of results and papers. So this is research level mathematics here, really, really advanced. This is as advanced as it gets, at least in 1969. Look at some of these topics. Tame subsets of two spheres in E3 e the third, E3, by C. E. Burgess. A closed subset X of a two sphere in E cubed is defined to be tame if there is a homeomorphism of E cubed onto itself that carries X into the boundary of a tetrahedron. Wow, what a definition really intense. Here's one that's actually extremely useful in the real world, non-parametric statistical methods. It's an entire book on non-parametric statistics. So if you take a class in statistics, you'll study a little bit of non-parametric statistics, but not too much. You'll just basically touch on it in a basic statistics class, but having an entire book like this on non-parametric methods is absolutely incredible. What is a non-parametric procedure? Here it tells you a non-parametric procedure is a statistical procedure that has desirable properties that hold under relatively mild assumptions regarding the underlying populations from which the data are obtained. So very, very nice uh, procedures that you learn in this book. And this is the book for it, right? It's an entire book on non-parametric statistical methods. Fourier analysis in several complex variables. This is super advanced mathematics. Traxt in mathematics number 17. This is an interesting book. It's pretty old. It was from Indiana University Northwest Library. And you can see here some of the contents of this book dedicated to the parents. And look at some of these topics. These are things that you've probably never seen. Now it's talking about modules and ideals, so there's some abstract algebra there. It's talking about uniform spaces. So a lot of mathematics is needed in order to even begin to understand math at this level. And we have an elegant book here on differential geometry by Lewis Oslander, Harper Series in Modern Mathematics. It still has the dust jacket. That's this piece of paper that goes over the book cover that keeps it looking really, really good dedicated to my parents, and this is from 1967. Differential geometry is something that you can study in college, but typically math majors don't study it. It's usually an elective, and sometimes it's taught in grad school, but a lot of people study mathematics and never actually study differential geometry. So it's one of those subjects that most people in the world never see. It starts with basic stuff that you might be familiar with if you know some linear algebra inner product spaces, 
dual vector spaces, the orthogonal group. So things here that might seem familiar, then it goes on to differential mappings, matrix Lie groups, tangent spaces, cotangent space, vector fields, and forms. Here's a quick look at some of the other topics that you get to learn in differential geometry. Now, this is one that is not so far off. In theory, you could jump into this book if you have some mathematics background and you can learn differential geometry. Some of the other subjects I showed you earlier were much more advanced than this one. Functional analysis is one of those really cool subjects that most people never see. If you take a graduate course in functional analysis, you might see it there. As an undergrad, most people never study functional analysis. So this is math that most people really never see. Here it talks about bounded and continuous linear operators. And this book, it's really not that bad if you've, if you've got some math experience, like if you know how to write proofs and you're established and you, can, you know how to read a math book, you can pick this up and you can learn functional analysis on your own. I've read a few of the chapters in this book and I've done some of the exercises. I actually used this for a course and I thought it was a fantastic book. Here we have another functional analysis book and this one is by Bachman and Narici and this is much more advanced than the Kreisig book. It's a little bit more hardcore and it's probably not the best book for beginners, but it's still worth picking up if you're trying to learn functional because it's a very good complete book. It's got a lot of topics. It's very well laid out. It's an excellent textbook. So this is a great, great book on functional analysis. Tensor Analysis on Manifolds by Richard L. Bishop and Samuel I. Goldberg. This is a Dover book, meaning it was printed by Dover Publications. It's a reprint of an old book. So this is something that, again, most people will not see in their lives. Um, super advanced. This one's actually really affordable because it's a Dover book. You can buy it quite inexpensively. Look, there's like an old receipt here or something. How mysterious. $12.48 maybe they paid and then $0.62 cents worth of tax. So the total was $13.10. I bet the book is around that price still today. I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check out this advanced math book. This is a legendary book on measure theory. This is by Springer, the graduate text in mathematics series, and it's called Measure Theory. And it's written by Paul Halmos, who was a very, very prolific and famous mathematician who wrote tons of books. This is first year graduate student material. So if you go to graduate school in mathematics, you will see this. Typically, your first semester, you are thrown in with the wolves and you have to learn some measure theory. And this is a great book to learn it from. There are other books that are also good, but when it comes to topics like this, it's just better to have all the books because it's so hard to understand that if you sit down and you try to read this and you don't get it, you can pick up another book and then you can attack it from that level. So very, very tough subject. It's a thin little book, but do not be put off by its size. This is hardcore. This is the book that I was telling you about that you can use to learn all kinds of different math. Now, it's not going to teach you all the mathematics in the world, but it's going to give you an overview of a lot of the topics. So the target audience of this book is graduate students who are going to uh, grad school, right? So prospective grad students. And so it's supposed to give you uh, a rundown of all the mathematics you're supposed to have seen. So nobody has seen all of this math, nobody I know of, but it's what you're supposed to know before you go to grad school. And what this does for you is it gives you an overview of all of the different areas of mathematics. And many of these topics are topics that most people have never seen. And you're supposed to know all this before going to grad school. And again, nobody does, but this gives you an overview. You see linear algebra, and it goes through and it talks about all the topics. It gives you the main idea. It tells you what linear algebra is about. And then same thing here, real analysis. Um, then you have vector value functions, some topology, Stokes theorems, differential forms in Stokes theorems, curvature for curves and surfaces, some geometry, some countability in the axiom of choice. So it's got everything almost, right? It seems like it has everything elementary number theory, but as you can see, it doesn't. We went over some topics that are not in this book. Algebra, algebraic number theory, complex analysis, analytic number theory, Lebesgue integration, Fourier analysis, differential equations, and then some combinatorics and probability theory. It even talks about category theory and algorithms. It's a fantastic book, extremely well written. Um, probably, there's, there's no comparison 
um, to this textbook. There is no other book in existence on math that is written the way this one's written. Another thing I really like about this book is that it's affordable because it's not really a textbook, it's a math book. And again, it's meant so that you can use this to kind of see what you've forgotten. But the fact that it gives you such a good overview for each of these topics makes it absolutely incredible and worth owning in my opinion. So there you have it, a quick look at some areas of mathematics that most people never see. I will try to leave links in the description to these books I know some of them are available. For example, you'll definitely be able to get the Garrity book, All the Math You Miss, which I definitely recommend. If you're going to get one book here, get this one. It's a good all-around book for anyone who knows some math already or anyone who is curious to exploring higher levels of math. And some of these might not be available, but I will look and do the best I can to find them for you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being a subscriber here on the channel. Until next time, good luck and take care, everyone.